This is going to be the start of a small series really looking at the Q table widget. We're going to develop a spreadsheet for programmers. In the first one, this lesson, we're just going to show how to um, display the Q table widget. And then we're going to add some menus to that, which will be quite straight um, straightforward. We've seen that before. We're going to add it so that we can um, deal with cell changes, add in forms in the way that you'd have in an ordinary um, spreadsheet looking how we can import um, CSV files, export CSV files. Um, really we're just going to gradually build it up so we end up with a stronger and stronger spreadsheet. And I'm going to call it a programmer spreadsheet because we're going to make use of the eval function that you have in Python um, so that we can um, write um, code and equations in it directly that um, can get um, calculated by the program so in some ways um, some aspects will be more powerful than we're used to. So let's start developing our programmer spreadsheet so I've done the imports here import sys um, and I've imported the Q table widget which is um, the main thing we're going to use which is effectively a Q table view with a model built on top and then we've got Q application for doing our event loop and Q main window, which is the thing I want to put the Q table widget in because I want to have access to menu bars later on. This is going to be quite a simple start. Um, we're not going to do that much. It shouldn't be too long. So um, let's do our class. I'm going to call this my um, table and that's going to be a Q table widget and within that I want to call the init function so and the init function I, what I also want to include is the number of rows and the number of columns that um, I'm going to um, make the table and so we want to call the init function for this one as well and I want to pass in the number of rows and columns and um, I was going to show that. Um, let's do self dot show that. And um, we could run that um, if we wanted. Um, in fact, let's do that just so you can see. So let's do app equals um, Q application. We should be used to. We see this every time. Sys dot uh, so that's our event loop going and then I want to create an instance of the table so let's just call it um, table we're not going to use this later on equals a my table and then let's make it so we can exit out of this thing sys dot um, exit app dot exec make sure we pick the right one and no, it just doesn't like the fact that we've got too many spaces, not the right form, do that and then we can run this and oh sorry we didn't say how big we wanted it to be so let's make it uh, 10 by 10, it's also said we want those, now let's try running it and there we go there is our widget but let's just make sure we put that in a window um, so we're almost there. I mean, this next bit's the same as we've done before when we looked at the Notepad program class sheet, and that's going to be a Q main window. And then we want to initialize um, that one there. I want to call the super, and I want to initialize that one. And then I want to, because it's QMA window, I want to set the central widget. So um, self dot, just like I did last time, I can call it what I want, but I want to call it form um, widget. There's no special name there. And that's going to be a my table. And I'm going to keep it at 1010. And um, you can call it whatever you like, go 100, 100 if you really wanted to. And then I'm going to do self dot set central widget, and we're going to set it to be this self um, dot form widget. And then, although this show here, we're just going to, need to go at this point and self dot show because it's the central widget. Sorry, it's the sheet that we want to show. 
So rather than having this, let's create a sheet. And there we go. Oh, gotta do that. And there we go. That's going to it's going to look exactly the same as we had before. But we know that we've now got the um, the opportunity to put in a menu bar there and a status bar. I think we'll put in a status bar um, on this one to show some information because we've not done that yet. But so we'll do that in a later one. So uh, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.